When people think steroids, people think Trent. What is up, everyone? It's Bruce. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907 Keep on code, Russo. ASMR spritz, intelligent elephant, H2L. Here's your noises. All right, welcome back to education. Today's Big Daddy Trend. So Trembolone Acetate, as well as Parabolin. I will touch on Parabolin a little bit, but I probably won't do a separate video. I have limited experience with Parabolin, but Trendy and Trend Ace, I do. The source for this, I know people complain about the book, but I am using a reference, the Anabolics 11th edition. Does that impact what I personally think like towards the end of these videos? No. You know, I come out with my own information of how I personally reacted to it to kind of give you a blueprint of what to watch out for. But I do like to feature the history as well as a little bit of the science around Trembolone. So Trembolone is derived from Nandrolone. However, it doesn't really, you know, Nandrolone, you think like more like bulking only. You know, Trembolone's more universal. And Trembolone's able to be used in a cut as well as a bulk, depending on how you do your cycles. The anabolic androgenic rating is 500, 500. Keep that into consideration that you are messing with the most powerful injectable steroid pretty much on the market. There's a reason why there's memes around it, that there's online personas around it. When people think steroids, people think trend. That being said, you know, this is a contest prep steroid that I think only should be used by competitors who are trying to create a temporary look for a certain date. I don't really see a point in using it recreationally to look good on the beach or just in general. It's just like one of those things where it has such an allure to it that people are always gonna fuck around with it, but I'll, I'll go through the toxicity. So Tremblin was first discovered in 1967 and it was soon sold by the name Finajet in France. So Finajet in France was the you know legal trend. However, it was never legal for human consumption regular trend. This was a veterinarian steroid that caught the eye of bodybuilders. However, like I said, Parabolin is actually produced, manufactured by Big Pharma legally for human consumption, and it's been around. You know, Parabolin is kind of funny. I don't know why you would use Parabolin, but you know, this is always comical reading this history. By the 1980s, Finajet was being smuggled into America, blowing up in the 80s, and we saw Finajet kind of come to a close with the steroid scandals, aka steroids are bad in the 1990s. So obviously when you have something as good as Trend, trying to get rid of Phenajet, the pharma safety profile veterinarian drug, probably not a good idea. It eventually moved on to pellets. So for those who don't know, we're talking about a veterinarian steroid here. I know everyone takes this. Trend was originally designed for cattle. So you would beef them up on trend and then slaughter them. You didn't give a fuck about the androgen destroying the cattle's body because you already knew the cattle was going to die and you wanted to maximize profits on the meat of each cattle. That's why Trembolone was being used. When the Trembolone scandal came out, AKA everyone importing Phenajet into the United States, all the bodybuilders using it. Obviously the FDA wasn't happy about that, blah, blah, blah. Trends like associated with real roid raids, associated with real mental health disorders, blah, blah, blah. So what did they do? They created pellets for the cattle. Farmers now had access to Phenaplex cattle pellets. And these were Trembolone pellets that you would put in the back of the ear of the cattle with a mounting gun. And then that trend would slowly break down during the cattle short lifespan before slaughter and maximize your profits. They were tired of dealing with Phenajet just being smuggled, used by everyone. They thought that was going to fix it. Well, that's where the underground came into play. So the underground 
you know, I know some of my older mentors would buy the pellets, melt down the pellets, and they said it was like the best trend ever. So I really didn't stop the bodybuilders. The bodybuilders just simply went to the farmers, asked to buy the pellets. They were given the pellets. They go home, they melt it down, then they inject it. That's literally the workaround that happened because trend is not going to go away. No matter how bad I paint this education, trend's not going away. It's just that powerful and that good and all the side effects people just ignore so let's talk about estrogenic side effects with trend so trend is not aromatized in the body however it does act on the progesterone receptors so you could have prolactin based gyna so this is another big confusing point of trend is when you start off doing normal steroids like testosterone and you know testosterone in an oral you would use an aromatized inhibitor to keep your estrogen in check to stop gynecomastia forming to stop water retention blood pressure issues all the shit that comes with high estrogen that you don't want with trend an ai might not cut it an ai might choke it out but in my opinion you should have caber or preferably prammy because prammy safer but they're really not that safe on hand just in case the prolactin gets out of control so you can expect like high prolactin side effects to be at first you last longer in bed as it goes on you start to get soft during sex and then you can't reach a climax you know that's pretty much signs of prolactin based dick dysfunction and then you're going to get prolactin based gyno as well which means that on trend <laughs> your nipples could shoot out fucking white liquid if you again aren't paying attention to all this if you're using a massive amount of test with the trend and you're not using the ai or an anti-prolactin then it's a recipe for disaster with all these side effects and like i said trend just promoted on tiktok we have people jumping into trend right off the bat. And these are things that you have to take into consideration. So as far as toxicity goes, I would say this is a toxic injectable. It is not healthy on the kidneys at all. You can always see kidney strain uh, if you pull blood work after trend. So definitely got to watch with that as far as liver toxicity it's not like 17 alkylate so it's not like you know this is toxic right off the bat but there does seem to be a dosage threshold for liver toxicity and with these trend cycles i'm sure you can see liver stress as well all right and then just the basic side effects your cholesterol is going to be fucked up trembolone has a high probability of fucking up your blood pressure it's really not worth it the hair loss is insane that's another thing i didn't touch on was that it makes hair fall out like crazy it's not hair safe at all and it doesn't really it's not impacted by 5ar even on finasteride or dutasteride if you're trying to save your hair and you add in trend still going to make it fall out another unique aspect of trend is it passes through the blood brain barrier and basically starts fucking around with the brain chemistry which could result in a different personality essentially a lot of steroids don't pass the blood brain barrier trend does that makes trend way more harder to handle for certain individuals mentally than other steroids. For example, with Austrian and testosterone, I feel happy, I feel confident. You know, it doesn't really spike my bipolar at all. It actually helps my bipolar. So for you bipolar individuals, like testosterone has never made my bipolar worse. It made my bipolar like so much more controllable. I'm so much more relaxed on a higher dose of test. Trembolone made me completely antisocial. It makes me very like on edge in conversation. I'm snappy, but for me, I'm like cold, shy, reserved in my own bubble. You could also say that like, if you never had an ego complex before, like I'm always trying to calm down a fucking bipolar egomania. So like, I think my brain automatically goes into that shutdown mode where I'm super antisocial on trend. Other people on trend have a God complex and they won't catch it going on until they're off the trend. But well, trend doesn't impact me and all the all their friends are like dude you know it's one of those things where you don't catch it until after and for the people who are like trend never mess with my personality blah 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 you might be having a good life you might like not have any interactions where that trend could steer the path and you might be just having a good life but for someone bringing this compound in that pass through the blood brain barrier and binds in the brain is one of those issues where it's a lot let's talk about trendsomnia so trendsomnia is real 
So if you're on a high dosage of trend, you can expect to be sweating through the night, not being able to sleep because your central nervous system is hyper stimulated. It's going to cause erections to be different. This is going to be controversial, but my two cents is trembolone makes your dick slightly smaller. It makes it feel different. It's not the best erection quality out of all the drugs I've used. Just going to be honest. I'm not saying that trend dick isn't real. Trend dick is more like if you have problems with premature ejaculation during sex or can't last during sex, I definitely see trend really aiding. For me personally, it's like I never can finish on trend unless I'm constantly adding in caber or prammy, right? I noticed that right away. I never had endurance issues. It makes it worse and it overall makes my erection just feel smaller. Like if I wanted a big dick, I'd do like a DHT based compound with maybe equipoise, you know, something like that. The trend dick is real, don't get me wrong, but it's one of those things where if you try all the steroids and you figure out your erection quality and how your erection feels different on each steroid, I don't think you would go towards the trend if you sat there trial and error with all erection quality drugs. That's my two cents. My two cents on trend as well is that it could turn you homosexual. Yes, I said it, it can turn you homosexual. It's activating the reptilian brain way more than it normally is. So you'll, I have a lot of friends who like, man, I never would wish I went on trend. I lost my girlfriend on trend. I destroyed a, you know, however long relationship on trend. It activates the reptilian brain to a crazy amount to a point where when you have an androgenic compound that crazy, you could switch more towards instincts. You could find yourself watching stranger, more fucked up porn. You could find yourself slightly homo, if not full homo on trend. You take the trend out and you snap back to normal. I feel like that should be common knowledge with trend. I feel like as a young developing person who's probably fucking around with trend that could steer your sexuality out of control that can make you question your sexuality as you bring trend in and out of the equation and you would really need to you know I've seen this too many times where it's like trend makes you gay i'm sorry it does i said it i'll say it again it's something that you gotta watch on trend all right let's talk dosages so again dosages are crazy with trend i'll say my dosages i like 100 to 400 a week that's pretty weak for some individuals I don't know, it's fucking 400 is enough, right, for me personally. Um, I've seen anywhere between 100 to 700 plus. I've seen a gram of trend with trend and enthate. If you wanted to replicate a 400 trend acetate cycle, you probably would want to do closer to 600 trend E because of the ester. Trend E impacts me way differently with the slow half-life. If you want the full trend experience, you definitely have to try ACE. ACE this is very vicious. Another thing I didn't touch on is trend cough. So when I inject trend, sometimes I'll hit a vein and I will cough uncontrollably like I'm dying for like, I don't know, a solid three minutes, like a legitimate three, four minutes, just brutal coughing. And it's one of those things where like sometimes I'll be injecting trend and like halfway down the syringe i feel the cough coming on and it's like do you finish the injection do you take the injection out it's one of those like oh my god trend e doesn't do that you can avoid the trend a trend cough by sub q shots and parable and i never had an issue I do use Parable. I had one bottle to try a Parable one, and I never had an issue with that. But Trend Ace, I do get Trend Cough. Probably like one out of four injections is going to be a Trend Cough. So again, why use this? My overall thoughts on Trend, it's like, it's always going to be there. It's the Halo drug. It's the drug that, you know, people don't know anything about steroids, know about Trend. It's 500 anabolic, 500 androgenic. It's 
the most like insane one it messes with the brain it, it causes the roid rage there are murders revolved around trend use it's the one that gives all steroids a bad rap and every steroid is apparently the same side effect profile as trend which we all know is not true that being said trend nowadays with tiktok is just treated like a fucking supplement if someone was doing tests i'd be like okay they're just doing tests whatever if they're doing trend i'm just like unless you're a competitive bodybuilder and i see such a crazy physique or you're a competitive powerlifter and you're trying to hit certain strength goal in a certain period of time i'd rather see you replicate pretty much the same results with way less harsh compounds which you could easily do the thing i'll say is that trembolone is absolutely needed in high level competitive bodybuilding to achieve those looks and theoretically could be needed for extreme powerlifting at the top performance level so when we're looking at extreme performance trend makes sense if you're that individual like for me personally unless i'm doing a contest prep nowadays i really wouldn't mess with trend when i did mess with trend it was like probably two or three weeks and then the gf is begging me well she's like enjoying the bed but she's like you're like going off the rails you need to stop that's someone keeping checks on me right a lot of guys use trend they have no idea what they're morphing into there's not gonna be a guy who's like bro like chill like most guys will not call out your degradation of your own personality most guys won't most guys might hint it a bit you won't notice it on trend and then when you come out of this shit storm again <laughs> you could end up gay or whatever it's just one of these things to me where it's like why risk it why roll the dice unless there's a big payoff and you need a temporary look or a temporary amount of strength on a certain day otherwise if you're not a very gifted competitor then why mess with it yeah that's the most powerful steroid pretty much ever in existence i hope you guys learned something from this video i will see you guys in my next one